Jose Quintana, you see his numbers this year, but his numbers over his uh, career, 93 and 94, 3.74 ERA. This will be his 306th start. Connor Joe leads off. He's playing first base tonight. One for four last night. And the payoff. Fastball over below and ball four. Nine pitch walk right there for Connor Joe. Nice start to this first inning. And he'll be on for Brian Reynolds. That's lined to left field, sinking fast. Nimmo coming on, can't make the play. Has to smother oh, it. And oh, oh. bad base running by Joe. He thought the ball was caught. And Joe is forced at second base. Oh, my God. So I don't know what Joe thought he saw, but the ball clearly landed in front of Nimmo. And he started running back toward first base. And he's forced out. Holy cow. Joe who made that spike in right field last night, a big mistake. Makes another big mistake here. As it takes away the base hit from Reynolds and brings up Jared Triolo. Here's the 3 2 to Triolo. Runner not going, and the pitch is swung on and missed. So Quintana gets him with a sinker. First strikeout for Jose Quintana. Two men away, and Edward Oliveras, the right fielder, will be the batter. And he struck him out with a fastball. Back to back strikeouts for Quintana as the Pirates shoot themselves in the foot in the first. Jared Jones, one and two with a four to start his young career. 18 innings of work and 25 strikeouts. 58 swings and misses in his first three major league starts, mostly with an electric fastball. One, two to Nimmo. Fastball, strike three call, one out. That one at 100 miles an hour. <laughs> Thought a part of his own. Here's Starling Marte. Ground ball, Cruz. That one at 100. Marte flies down the line. <laughs> Not in a real hurry to get to first. Now Lindor continues to get nice hands from the crowd. It seems to be working. He's got four hits in the last two games. Strikes out Lindor. And the throw to first to complete the K. Jared Jones, couple of strikeouts, one, two, three against the Mets. Andrew McCutcheon leads off for Pittsburgh, right hand batter. And McCutcheon hits one well to right center field. Back in the gap goes Bader near the wall. What a down, a beautiful play. Harrison Bader showing off the gold. Beautiful sliding catch on the warning track right before he would have hit the fence. Well, no, nope. yeah. well, he got it on the tip of the web. And since we've seen him play so far, he doesn't take a bad route to the ball. He might not get there, but he doesn't take a bad route. Now with Neil Cruz, strike three call. Got him looking at a fastball. Three strikeouts in the first two innings for Quintana. No score. And now Pete Alonso, the National League's Player of the Week, in the lead off. And that's muscled out into shallow left. Coming on is Reynolds, and he slides, but he can't get it. It rolls behind him, backed up by Taylor, and Alonzo will get to second. Reynolds thought that he could get to that sinking humpback liner, but he just didn't have enough. And Alonzo gets a double. So the Mets have their first base runner of the night. And now Brett Beatty, who's 6 for 15 with runners in scoring position this season. Right up the middle and Cruz ranging far to his left but the throw out's going to be called out for the moment that was bang bang heck of a play by Cruz went a long way and they will not challenge that's that a was big out outstanding play Cruz didn't even have to stretch out that big arm nice 360 spin they put a nice you know, accurate throw there tremendous play a heck of a job yep. infield creeps in now Alvarez at the plate another 0 2 pitch Struck him out when he needed it. Now two down. Now the infield can play back. Here's McNeil. Got a wave and a miss of a guy that doesn't strike out much in McNeil. Not a great throw from Henry Davis, but Connor Joe went up and got it. Back to back K's. That's four for Jones. Gets another. That's three in a row and five. Brings up Omar Narvaez. Swinging a fly ball left field. Reynolds over toward the line. He's got it for the second out through the lineup once and now back to the top for Brandon Nimmo who struck out looking against Jones in the first inning. He's got six. Oh, this is this is absolutely crazy. This is awesome. We're seeing something special here in Jared Jones. One out for Alika Williams. Line drive by Alika Williams toward the left center gap that's and that's going to head to the wall. So Alika Williams into second base with a one out double. Back to the top of the order. So two men away, Brian Reynolds, the switch hitter, left fielder, will be the batter. 3-1, check swing, roller, pass to Alonzo and into right, base hit, Marte charges and will not throw home. It's an RBI hit for Brian Reynolds, 
and the Pirates lead it one to nothing. Well, look at that. It wasn't a curveball, but it was a changeup. Ryan Reynolds half swings at this ball. I guess it's somewhat retribution for that hit that he didn't get in the first inning because this ball took about six seconds to get through the four hole. Nonetheless, finds a hole and scores the first run of this game. Brett Beatty will lead it off against Jared Jones. Bounce to third. There's Triolo. That was a tough play. A squibber and a stretch and an out. What a play by Jared Triolo. That was tremendous. And as soon as he catches, he's got to get rid of it quick. Brett Beatty runs pretty well. Just enough on it to get the speedy runner Beatty. Well, Alvarez had struck out his first time up tonight. Gets another. Jared Jones with seven strikeouts tonight. Wow. Dialing it up and going upstairs. Blows it right by him. Two outs, and now Jeff McNeil, fastball swung on a rope to right, but right at Olivares, who takes care of it, and Jones quickly through the fifth inning. One hit ball through five scoreless innings for Jared Jones. Well, Garrett will be asked to give the Mets a couple of innings if he can tonight, and keep it close. After Quintana did just that, not his best night by any means, but he allowed just one run. Swing and a miss, got him with a splitter. Takes care of Oliveris on three pitches for the first out. Kutcher, well, who drove the ball into right center, Bader made a sensational grab in the second and then hit a flare out that way for a base hit in the fourth. And he struck him out. Got him with the slider. So back to back strikeouts for Garrett to start the sixth. Two down, and Michael A. Taylor coming up with the Pirates leading one to nothing. And he struck him out with the splitter. Reed Garrett strikes out the side in the sixth inning. We go to the bottom of the sixth, it's still 1-0 Pirates, and that will be indeed the night for Jared Jones as the Pirates continue to monitor his innings. They were five really good innings. And here is Luis Ortiz to come on in relief. This reaches out, weekly pop up. One down. That'll bring up Omar Narvaez. Lofted into shallow center, and Taylor will drift in. He'll make the catch for the second out. Back to the top of the order now for Brandon Nimmo, who has struck out twice. Hit on the first. Joe has it. And he'll take it to first for the final out. Nice one, two, three inning for Luis Ortiz. We go to the seventh. Brett Beatty's come out of the game. Joey Wendell has replaced him at third base. Wendell came in the game to replace Brett Beatty, who left with hamstring tightness. The Mets have first and third with one out in the seventh. And now it's up to not Brett Beatty, but Joey Wendell hitting in Beatty's spot. And he smacks one down the left field line, slicing away from Reynolds, and it lands. It's an extra base hit into scores Lindor. Alonzo will be held at third. Joey Wendell ties the game with an opposite field double, and it's 1 1 in the seventh. And McNeil's late, and he's got to put on the elbow or forearm guard with a chance to put your team ahead. Likely to see all sliders here from Hernandez. And now, did they call a balk? Third base umpire Moscoso is running in to talk to the home plate umpire, Adam Hamery. I think he's saying he wasn't in there at the eight second mark. He is. They called a balk. Oh, oh, it was it. a balk, and the Mets take the lead. A balk by Jose Hernandez before he throws a pitch, and the Mets lead this game two to one. Wendell goes to third. And with two outs, McNeil's life just feels a lot easier now. The infield moves back. McNeil flicks one to left field. That's going to find Grass. Base hit. Wendell's in to score. McNeil heads to second. He's got an RBI double, and it's 3-1 to one New York. That's the Jeff McNeil we know and love. Put back to ball, and good things happen. It snaps an 0-12 for, for Jeff. Gives the Mets a two-run lead. Drew Smith, three career saves all last year. Well, Drew is going to try to make him nine and three. Pitching in yesterday's ball game, gave up a run. Rowdy Tellez is going to hit for Michael A. Taylor, and he's down on three pitches. Drew Smith starts the ninth inning with a strikeout, and that is the twelfth strikeout for Mets pitching in this game. One man out. O'Neill Cruz coming up. One two coming to Cruz, and he pops it up. Third base side should be playable for Wendell in foul ground. Two out. Pirates down to their last out. It'll be Henry Davis. One two coming. He struck him out and the ball game is over. Drew Smith picks up his first save of the season and the fourth of his career. And for the first time this season the Mets are above 500 as they went for the ninth time in the last 12 games with another late inning rally and they beat the Pirates three to one.